No. So this is my second one in our right hand technique series. So this one, we are going to use all three fingers on the right hand. So we're going to be using our thumb, P, index, I, middle finger, M, and ring finger, A. So we're going to add in that A finger. And these three fingers, they're going to be sitting on these strings. So you're going to have a pattern where the fingers are playing I, M, A. And that's just going to be on the G string, the B string, and the E string. And your thumb is just going to alternate like so. So you can start it off, get used to the pattern, just like so. P I M A P I M A P I M A P I M A just like that. Like so. Now if I want to add in some chords, I'll add in my C chord, and then I will also add in my G7 chord. And when I go to the G7 chord, my thumb is going to change its pattern. Instead of A D a, D, it's going to go A, D, E, A, like so. So we're going to start with the C. go I M A like so. So when you get comfortable with I M A, you can switch it around to A M I. So that would be P A M I P A M I P A M I P A M I. second right hand exercise. These are great for warming up or if they're great for practicing to get more right hand techniques under your fingers and this is going to lead to some finger independence on the right hand. Now that you have all three fingers you can alternate how you practice them. So if you want you can just go P-I-A-I -I, where I'm going thumb and then I finger on the G string a finger on the E string, and then back to the I finger. Or you can mix it up and go I A M, M A I, any way that you want. All will be handy, all will be good to practice that right hand independence. So this is a nice little exercise for, for such things. So if you like this one, give me a like, and uh, hopefully I'll have some more right hand exercises coming up. And if you want to see more of these, just let me know.